Hey guys, it's Woody, and this is the new DLC for Black Ops 2. I thought I'd talk about it, you know, I don't know. I'm a little nervous about how this is going to work out. So first, we'll talk about, I think it's magma? <laughs> God, lava? Lava? Like, did they not hear the feedback about the lava from zombies? It ruined zombies. And it, it, one, it's first frustrating to get, like, hurt for no damn reason. And they, they have this thing against kiting in zombies. And the people who play the game love it, but the people who make the game are some reason bound and determined to make the game not fun anymore. So I'm, I'm seeing death zones. They say they're short and long range lines of sight in this map, but that never means anything. They're short and long range lines of sight on every map. So um, you have to wait and see how it plays. But man, the lava has totally turned me off. It soured me on almost all the uh, all the DLC when really it's just one of the maps. I'm ha, freaking lava. Look at that. That's going to happen to you. Encore. So um, listen to what they have to say about Encore. The map design features a central stage that acts as a powerful elevated position. Players can assault that stage directly or they can flank around through the stands. It really is best to try to be the rock star in Encore because if you're holding down the center stage, you're going to dominate the center of the map. Really? His advice is to hold down the center stage? Do those guys look like rock stars on your screen to you? Do they look like baby buffalo to me? They're standing up tall and they're just asking to be killed. You know, there are lions prowling around this map who are just going to pick them off, who have cover, and you can't win a gunfight when you're that exposed. You're certainly not going to build any kind of streaks. I don't know why they're advising us to stay on stage. If Is it just selling the notion of being a rock star? I'm not sure. I don't get it. I don't get it. But we'll see how the map plays. Vertigo. It takes place on top of a building. And... Yeah, it, it, everyone's comparing it to high rise like oh it's going to be like high rise there's a bit of a parkour element to it like you can see right here which is like high rise and the edges of the map apparently there's a lot of stuff like this there's all sorts of like dead zone tricky places to be um, i don't know I've, I've learned to strafe so much while i shoot that i'm worried i'm, I'm not going to like the map this is firing range it doesn't necessarily look like it and it's called studio but it's a remake of firing range dinosaurs dinosaurs at last 4chan's always been asking for that but um if you look at it and you, you can kind of see like oh yeah i know where this is i know where that is um you know it, it is firing range redone kind of like they did with hazard and what was it cliffside something close to that so um, I'm excited about Firing Range coming back. I think that was a good idea. And I like remakes. And I, one of my biggest problem with Firing Range was that it was kind of dull to look at. And it looks like they addressed that. So that might be the shining star of this DLC. We'll see. And then, of course, what you're looking at here is the zombie stuff. It's takes place in Alcatraz, which is this famous American prison in San Francisco, and there's old, like, gangsters and stuff from when alcohol was illegal in the United States, and the gangsters took over and started selling it, but anyway, here's the DLC. I'm super skeptical. I hate the lava. I'm nervous. It, 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 it's some dullness, um, but firing range is in it, and maybe that'll make it worth it. We'll see. Here, there'll be a link in the description at the, or in the link at the end of this to the their commentary. So you can listen to their commentary and, and decide for yourself whether or not you think it will be a cool thing. So uh, that's it.